Well, I've been at SOCAN for over 20 years, and there's definitely been shifts within the industry and at SOCAN. And I think that balance has definitely changed over the last few years, where we've seen more women in more senior roles. Everybody wants to see themselves in certain roles and know that there is the opportunity, that the availability to see themselves in that role or that the company is actually representing them is important. And I think that's what we've been able to do. You know, the company as a whole is over 50% female and that, that holds true through every level, uh, including with the executives. Alors, comment est-ce que la communauté musicale peut progresser? Um... Je pense que c'est en ayant beaucoup d'empathie et d'ouverture, puis que même s'il y a des choses que vous comprenez pas, les hommes, <rire> euh, d'être à l'écoute, puis de plutôt que, que d'être sur la défensive ou dans l'ego, ça pourrait être bénéfique <rire> pour nous et le monde entier que, que vous soyez dans, dans une réelle humilité, puis. Euh, un dialogue complètement ouvert qui serait plutôt dans le « Ah oh ouais, ok, vous vous sentez comme ça, ok, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire pour vous aider, qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire pour que vous vous sentiez bien. Ah oh, ok, quand j'ai dit ça, ça t'a pas fait te sentir bien, ah oh, ok, je comprends, puis oser aller véritablement dans, dans l'introspection. Je pense qu'il y a beaucoup de choses euh, que même moi je réalisais pas que c'était du sexisme parce que c'était tellement normalisé. Par exemple, un soundman qui me dit nah, « tu conduiras pas la vanne parce que c'est sûr que tu conduis pas bien ». Et finalement, je ne la conduis pas. Et finalement, c'est un gars qui conduit beaucoup moins bien que moi qui la conduit. Ça, c'est des genres de, de micro-agressions qui peuvent sembler banales, mais qui font en sorte que notre monde n'est pas un monde complètement juste. Puis euh, maintenant, il y a un dialogue qui s'ouvre, donc euh, que les choses changent et que les esprits s'ouvrent et que, que l'humilité s'installe, tabarnak. Um, if a company brings is bringing trans women, cis women, non-binary artists, queer artists, black artists, indigenous artists, all artists of color from though from marginalized groups to a panel, um, onto a showcase or to an event, it should be to showcase who we are. Um, not just to tell a traumatic story about the oppression we face, just showcase our art, our artists, our artistic process, the way we create. Bring us to events because you want to know who we are, because you value our work, because you value the way our minds work. And just by experiencing our art, you learn a lot about what we're needing in our communities to support and to feel like we can grow in this industry. Let us know that our needs matter. I remember doing an event with SoCan where I'd asked for a black woman as my mentor and without any questions it happened and I was so grateful but what I noticed is that I still felt scared to ask because I felt like I'm still learning that that someone's not going to say to me, oh, you're, don't make it about race, don't make it about gender, like, you know, but it was like, no. So Ken was like, I get it. She wants a black woman as her mentor. Fair. And, and you know, and it was and it was very helpful for me to see, um, to be more aware of the shifts that are happening. Of course, there's so much more work just that needs to happen in the music industry. But there are a lot of pockets and moments where I'm, I'm really proud of where we're at. Um, and I'm proud that we are taking the steps to, to make so, so much difference. Also, I, I feel very grateful that there are many people in the industry now who I work with, who I collaborate with, who I um, kind of, who are maybe in the leadership roles that I'm in or that I'm like, in spaces with um, and they're women and I and I and that makes me really happy and it's become normal for me to see women you know and and I and again that's that tells me the um, the progress that we're making and so that makes me feel really really happy While a lot has been done to advance equity in the music industry, there's still a lot more work to do. We've scratched the surface of the iceberg, but we are building momentum. And I think that this is an opportunity for the industry to coalesce and to start looking at how we can remove barriers and create more opportunities and explore how that can be done from an individual organizational and societal level. Examples of what we have done at SOCAN Foundation to challenge the status quo and to advance equity for women include the creating the Her Music Awards. This was an opportunity to celebrate and 
acknowledge the amazing work of women music creators in Canada. We're also involved in the Key Change program, which is a global network and movement working towards gender equality in the music industry. So this is some of the work that we've been doing. And again, collaborating with others is the pathway forward in which we can continue to make progress of advancing equity in our industry.